Day 15. Our story continues. Tonight I had a really good haul. Look what I got. Syphilis. No, better stuff. No gunshots in my body. That's a nice start. Ten wood, eight components, three parts. It's it's something. Not what I was hoping for, but shit was scary over there, so I don't I don't fully regret it. Uh, let's check people's hunger status. You're very hungry, Bruno. Ooh, is, is he sad? He's tired. My story, day 15. I have a dearest friend who always worried a lot. One day, she called me, terrified, saying there was a riot outside. The secessionists were inciting the crowd to burn the town hall. I told her not to worry. And I was right. Nothing came of it. This time. But even when the riots and fights became everyday news, I kept assuring her it would all blow over soon. Whoops. How'd that pan out, huh? Let's get you upstairs to cook, buddy old pal. What's this chop back? Oh, the chop back, chop back on for chairs. So this is my first day of a new session. Only like my third session so far, actually. I try to marathon this game as much as possible because there's a lot of stuff to keep track of. A lot of things to pay attention to, you know? Here, you go to, you go to sleep. Oh, oh, that was this happening. Get slightly disoriented by the multitasking that happens sometimes. It's like, oh, right, that character's doing that thing now. All right, cool. I'm hungry. That's too bad. Because you're, because we all get to be hungry now. So you, let's have you pick up the moonshine. Now that we've got fuel, we don't have food. I should check that first. I guess we're eating canned food then. Poor guy. So that's, that's gonna be our next priority then, is finding more proper food again. So we're a little bit behind on that right now. They say these cans are quite nutritious. Alright, so I have one fuel now that I've crafted, which is unneeded. But uh, we'll use it sooner or later, so it's not some great crime to make that mistake. 16 water is good, so I'm doing okay there. So my next big priority for the next run is definitely gonna be to get more food, if I can at all. Let's see, three stickers per, per day. We have one chair, beds. Right now, we, I'm doing pretty good on morale, so I'm not really worried about all the morale stuff. We have a good collection of books, and the cigarettes seem to keep our sad person happy. Everything's bored up. Yeah, actually nothing about our current setup really complains, really. That's nice. Slightly sick is still happening, but we'll work on that. Ooh, the rat trap caught someone. That's great news. Oh, someone here to trade. Timing, huh? Oh, he's, he's asking for help. Oh no. That's time consuming. So now we have some food, so I'll, I'll continue to try to make more real quick. Oh, he's asking for help. Um, people, get, these people respond at, at least to, at least a couple of these characters respond really well to me doing good deeds. So it's good for morale. So I should try to help when I can. Cause I'm doing my best to not have people lose their minds. Does it still say it's cool outside with clouds and possible rainfall? Advice for cold evenings: grab a book and a hot cup of tea. Still no mention of actually keeping... Oh, it does, it does say fireplace, doesn't it? Yeah. I should probably be considering a, a heater at some point. Crisis of cigarettes are rising. Rebel. Music's playing. Not much going on there. Let's get that classical going. There we go. It's a nice day for everyone. Set up one of these. Do I have, do I have a filter set up? I don't. Uh, I want to go help the guy, obviously, but just the briefest distraction, sir. Components. Oh wait, I went to the wrong thing. You make components here. Is he sitting on my... He's totally sitting against the wall. <laughs> Herbal workshop. Did I make that yet? I did, right. We were, we were, we were already making cigarettes. Just sort of reminding myself where we left off here. Uh, let's just make a... One quick filter to get things going. Or uh, maybe not. I'm a little iffy on the components. We'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll wake up with my other characters. Let's go visit the door guy before he goes somewhere. I think Pavel in particular has a tendency to be like, Oh no, I'm sad now. Or like, or like react positively and, and negatively to various things a lot. So he's going to want to do this. This is a stick up. Hello again. How are you doing? Thanks to your help, all the wounded recovered, and went back to their homes. One of them still needs bandages, though, and I've run out. Can you spare any? We need bandages. Uh... I have bandages, yes. 
Thank you so much. You're saving that man's life. Okay. I don't have to go anywhere. I'm just helping our community. Hopefully they'll help me out when the time comes. Maybe one day we'll be starving and they'll give us food, or maybe they'll burn my house down. I don't know. But we have we have a decent number of bandages left. Any bio responses? No one really no one really reacted to that. All right, let's review what we can build and get back on top of things again. I think I was trying to upgrade my metal station last time. Yeah, we've built everything I can so far. We don't have the uh, we don't have the broken pistol part or the broken shotgun parts, so I can't craft any of the new weapon types. I just have a collection of weapons themselves. And we currently have one of everything except for a saw blade. And the upgrade, I believe, is expensive. Yep. 24 more components, 7 more parts, 1 mixer. One mixer. How are things going on Moonshine? We could get things going again. Uh, we'll need... Uh, we can get 2 out of the sugar I have. So that's good. Um, we'll hold off for now. When our friend wakes up, he'll be plenty busy with that stuff. Definitely need to get some components done, though. How's the herbal workshop looking? So upgrading this also requires the mixer, components, and wood. We need to, we just need to collect a ton of components and wood, frankly. Which is sometimes easier said than done. Uh, let's just craft a bunch of cigarettes, because that, that, that can keep me... That can keep me going on money, at least. And maybe I can trade for compo uh, more components in wood than it costs to make them, I hope. Roll up cigarette. Because those use the homegrown tobacco. Let's focus on the, uh, on this stuff for now. We're trying to be productive. Have our own little industry here. Hey, he's woken up. Nice. Don't know what I want to do with you, though. Maybe go take a seat. You know what? Actually, let's have Pavel go to sleep. He's still, sl he's perpetually slightly sick. Let's see if making him sleep during the day more will finally fix that. Because it keeps saying it's recovering, but I've never quite squashed it all the way. There we go. Hey, Moonshiner. Alright, hopefully our next run will give us a, a decent little haul of food, but we have enough canned food to last us a few more days at our current rate anyway. How much- let's, I gotta remind myself really quick. I think that if I want to build another rat trap, which I do want to do, yeah, I need parts, which are harder to find than uh, components. Because increasing my- the rate at which I, I catch that stuff would be fantastic. Alright, so I could use my remaining sugar, and we would still have- we'd still have 10 water left, which should be no problem. I'll have to, I'll have to make one more fuel first. Starting to feel oddly at home in this little game. Which is funny, because it's the whole point is it's in a bombed out nightmare where nothing works. But you get comfortable in this little building, in the way that you have it set up and how things continue to work out in it. Still waiting for somebody to show up. I just at some point I'm hoping that we'll- I, ho I hope we'll meet more people, <laughs> basically. Sooner or later you should be able to get new characters. But as far as I can determine, it's basically entirely random. Uh, people just show up, or they don't. And it could be children, or it could be not children, it could be any combination thereof. And the party sizes people get vary wildly, and just kinda, what you know, whatever happens, happens. So I'm gonna keep crafting my trading materials. And our giant mound of cigarettes will become trading goods next time that uh, Franco comes by, hopefully. Or anyone else. Might even try to trade it for raw, for raw parts and goods. Let's see. Let's prioritize a, an exact thing I want to build. Like a very specific thing. And go from there. I think it was, I think my biggest priority thing is probably something with this workshop over here. I want to think of something specific and then next time I trade, try to get those exact objects. An alcohol distiller would be nice. That's 20 out. That, 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 that could be good for trade. That's 20 components and 10 parts. Let's try to keep that in mind, huh? 20 components and 10 parts. Relatively easy numbers to remember. But I really could use a lot of everything, so obviously I'll get whatever I can. 
Still no broken guitar. The fact that it exists makes me want to build it. A reinforced door, that's good. We have everything we need for it. We just need a whole bunch of, uh... A whole bunch of components. Element of busyness involved. Alright. I believe enough time's passed and not much else is going to happen today. So let's go ahead and pass forward. I like this. I, I like kind of fumbling through this game and trying to figure out how to approach things. I think I'm going to go to the hotel again. Yeah. I think trade's one of my best options right now, honestly. Just because we don't- we can't get a lot done with scavenging anymore. I'm waiting for the- hopefully- I really- I really hope that the- the fighting drops down at some point and I can revisit those previous locations. In particular, it is definitely a bummer that I kind of cleared out a uh, Sniper Junction and then immediately lost access to it, because that place is probably pretty cool. And it seemed to have a lot of scrap I could pick up, and I don't think I have access again. So I'll see what I can do here. Is there any reason to use... I don't know if there's anything to use coffee for besides trading. I feel like I should just bring that and plan on doing it. Let's go. I'll pick up some debris, and then we'll, uh... Get to work on trading away any of the other stuff I have. Every time I come here, I'm kind of worried that, like, something unexpected will happen. Like, it'll turn out to have been wiped out by s assholes. Hey, stranger, want to trade? Go to the first floor. Alright. I'll get there. Just gonna to revisit whether or not there was a pile of scrap or not. Was there stuff in the backyard? Let's, re let's check. Nope, that's just the way to leave. Yeah, I really hope that the fighting dies down, because there are... It, it, the, the spots that the fighting took from me are almost exclusively locations that I never got to properly scavenge. They left me with most of the ones I've already spent time with, which was just tragic. Don't sneak up, sneak up on me like that, pal. I'm just, just taking... Oh, it's a teddy bear. Is that all that I left from last time? It's okay, I'm prior... I'm hopefully... I'm mostly hoping to plan for, uh, trade for components and wood. And parts, and, uh... And food, really. Which is hard to trade, hard to come by sometimes. Oh yeah, there's like a, a salvage pile over here. That guy's not looking over here right now. Yeah, this is where they hit all their cool stuff. Yes. Good news. Yeah, there's no reason to, there's no reason to get past that door in particular, because, uh... There's no reason to go past to saw that door down, because there's nothing there. It's just open area. But they definitely have stuff locked up behind some of these gates that's handy. But I'm not really planning on getting a shot. We're not quite desperate yet, so I'm holding out on being a decent person still. Which might be just a privilege that I lose, so we'll see. This door's locked, isn't it? Yeah. We have to go the long way around. Get on over here, buddy. Let's save some time. Just ruin that door. So that's a stealing animation. Whenever it's a little, like, reach down thing that's stealing. They have so much stuff. It's agonizing sometimes. Alright. So. They have... Th oh, that's not a lot of parts, unfortunately. They have some wood and components. Those would be good news. There's also the, they also have some canned food and some regular food. We'll start with that. Your offer's too damn impressive. Good. I like hearing that. How about these? Oh, we're still happy with the food offers. Okay. How about parts? Cool. How about the sugar? We use that for brewing. That'd be good news. Components? He hasn't turned on me yet, which makes me wonder how much I can take out of this pile before he does. Very generous of you. Fine, we have a deal. Won't do try harder. So I can get that many. Leaving behind the wood at the moment, but taking a lot of the other stuff with me. That is a damn good start. That's a lot of food. It'll keep us going. It's enough for another moonshine in there. And, uh, a lot of parts. Now he's got a bunch of moonshine. Go figure. Because I keep selling it to him. We'll deal. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright. So I got more cigarettes, though, so let's see what I can get for those. 
Oh, I, I didn't trade my moonshine. Right, I only did uh, cigarettes and coffee. I forgot about my own moonshine. So we're not done. We are far from done here. Let's take the moonshine off the table. We have a deal. Won't do try harder. All right. So he wants a lot of these cigarettes, but that's nice haul of wood. I can't carry that much? Oh. Damn you! Damn you wood and your shitty stack size. All right. Let's trade for something besides wood first. Vegetables would be nice. It's very generous of you, he says. I'm not trading for cigarettes. That'd be a mistake. Maybe the tobacco. Show me some more, he says. Not quite happy with that trade-off, is he? Let's see. Won't do. Try harder. Wow. He does not respond well to me trying to buy his tobacco. Interesting. Even though I'm trading cigarettes for... I guess it's a lot. You get four each, so it's actually a decent chunk, isn't it? That... It goes... The, the value goes directly from uh, generous to it won't do with no in-between. That's interesting. You're off. This offer's damn too impressive. All right. Vegetables will be good for making our food last longer. Fine, we have a deal. Won't do. Try harder. So he'll stop at four. Ah. I wish it showed my inventory size on the screen, because that's rather annoying, actually. But it doesn't. Ah. Hang on a second, I need to review my backpack size. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oops. So at the time of the trade, I have three slots left, is the situation. Okay. So we can plan around that, which is not a lot. So for the moonshine, let's see, two, that, that's one slot. The, the wood really screws with things. I can trade for four slots worth of stuff, this much, uh, for one moonshine. Otherwise, it's pretty much the trade I can do. I can trade this for four slots because I'm removing one slot worth of stuff here. You know, like, you don't want the teddy bear, guys? Uh, it doesn't change the deal for you? Won't do try harder. Wow, that's a tough trade. Is a moonshine, five cigarettes, and a teddy bear worth four tobacco and six wood? I have absolutely no idea. I'm terrible at bartering. This is why I gave up on the on the economy. I gave up on the economy of Diablo 2 back in the day, because I'm like, I don't know how to measure these values against each other. I feel completely lost. Ah. Uh. Tobacco will keep us healthy, as far as trading goes. Yeah, that's 16 tobacco worth of roll-up. That and, well, that, that and four components, so the, the... It's mostly the moonshine pulling the lifting here, I assume. I'm gonna do it. I think we're full up then? Oh, we still have one more slot left. Okay. Let's pull that little cigarette in there, and see if I can trade it for anything at all, like... Like, a wood? Ooh. You'll trade two wood for one cigarette. That's not bad at all. I need the wood. I assume you won't trade veggies for it. No, you won't. I'll do two wood. There we go. Yeah. Alright, eight wood. Ah. Uh, was it 18 scrap? Three parts, three... Sugar, four tobacco, and five food items. I feel like that went relatively well, honestly. So I'm gonna get out of here. Not happy with my uh, income of... W uh, I'm not happy with how much wood I'm getting so far, obviously. That part's a bummer, because wood's kind of a barrier to some of the stuff I'm trying to make. But I can keep the money flowing with the tobacco and the sugar. I should be able to make more myself than, they're, than I'm losing. And I... Made, I made Pavel rest again, so maybe he'll finally be done being sick all the time? Maybe. He rested all day. He rested all afternoon and all night. I'm just hoping he finally stops being slightly sick. Alright, did we get raided? We, oh, night was calm. And full of terrors. 
That's not how that works. He's still recovering. He's very hungry. Alright. So we need to get cooking done. So let's get you on cooking. Didn't have any vegetable vegetables, unfortunately. But I can cook. Uh, with the food we have. We actually have food, which is nice. Gonna need a couple... F Do I have fuel? I have one fuel. So we'll make one more fuel. And Pav will pick up that moonshine. And we're going to cook. So we can send our, send our friend off to bed. Check the radio out. Ooh, food's back again. Look at our dice rolls here. Fantastic. All right. Mr. Very Hungry, you get your eating. <laughs> food in, food out. Food in, food out. Let's go ahead and retrap it. That was nice. Two days in a row of food. Alright, Marco is no longer hungry. I mean, no longer very hungry. Let's see. Just to, just to double check. Yeah, he's very hungry. Uh, go ahead and cook. You get to come up here. Oops. You get to come on up here. Marco gets to go to bed. And let's send, send Bruno to bed next. Let's fix your hunger at least. He's always slightly sick. He's been slightly sick for like two weeks now, unfortunately, because he started the game slightly sick and hasn't gotten better. Uh, I'm going to try to have him start having him sleep in afternoons to hopefully get past that at some point. But it's tough to say. I didn't check the radio yet. No one's coming by so far. Alright. What do we got? Cool outside. Classical music. No hints of upgrades so of updates so far. Get out of here. Let's revisit the uh, costs assigned associated with doing a, a uh, Hang on a second. Uh, yeah. With doing a heater. Because I'm going to need one at, s at some point. I feel ill at something. I hope it's nothing, nothing, nothing serious, he says. Uh, heater. Oh! Uh, it's not too bad. 18 components and 6 wood is relatively low. It's going gonna, it's gonna to need a lot more f uh, wood than that in the long run, though. Because it's going to need fuel sources because it's a heater. But ultimately, at least it works. Don't have an herbal garden yet. Still need more components for that. Four more, unfortunately. And we're just not quite there. We have a thermoregulator, but not a mixer yet. I'm wondering if I should just make those already. But I kind of want to save up for the door. Well, the door only needs four. So if I made a mixer or a heat lamp, we could still have more left. Huh. Mixer feels like the priority because it can build the other... It's required for the upgrades, so let's make that... Also, holy shit, the song that's playing right now is that song. <laughs> the triumphant prancing through the meadow music, basically. Is that a tank in my ba That is totally a tank in our backyard. Nope. Oh, explosions. A long fight. Not great for sleeping. Alright, we now have a mixer to add to the collection of random stuff that's required for other random stuff. Good to go. Uh, double check our distillery requirements. Let's see, yep, yeah, we have enough sugar for one more as soon as our, per our brewer's awake again. We're short on water though. So we're gonna, wanna, we're gonna wanna make some filters and get those going. So that's one of the things that eats away all the time at our components is making water filters, unfortunately. All the more reason to keep working on it. I got a lot of tobacco, so we should be able to trade. Well, I just need to find people to trade with, because unfortunately, I think that that guy is running out of stuff for me. No Marco today. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like, I think Marco's stock changes over time. Or Franco, I mean. This my, my character's Marco. I feel like Franco's stock changes over time, but I feel like the other guy doesn't necessarily change at all. And he might always have the same stuff for me. But I could be wrong. 
So I'm really holding out hope on the war changing th soon. Otherwise, we'll have to start. We'll have to start working on a. Yeah, we'll have to start working on our indoor indoor form at indoor farm at some point. Let's see, water filters are running. That'll keep us capable of cooking for a while, and we have we have eight food. That trap is working overtime. All right, now you're rested. All right, you head on downstairs then. Have him rushing up, have him rushing to bed. There we go. Now he can sleep. You go back to tobacco. And you get to the moonshine. Any sugar we have, I'm trying to spend on moonshine, so we can trade even more. Here we go. We need food. We we act. That's the worst time to say this. Honestly, we have more food than we ever had. I know he's just randomly saying it because he's hungry. All right, so Pavel's resting again. I'm hoping he'll recover. That'd be nice. Just to have the status effect go away. I don't think Slightly Sick has any real effect on me, honestly, but I assume that if I get rid of it... I assume that as long as it's there, there's the constant risk of him... Uh, going... of it going back to being very sick again. Or, just sick in general. Because we've never been very sick yet. I don't want him to be sick, obviously. Let's see, should I keep rolling stuff up? There's the roll-ups and the... I can make a lot of these still. I can make 16 more. Let's get busy. Gotta keep busy. It's rough though. Make It's rough deciding what to do with these resources, because I need 30 for the herbal garden, but I constantly need to spend them to make most of the things that keep us going. And our water source, our cigarettes, everything involves using components, which we also need a surplus of to get an herbal garden so that I can start making more food sources. Because it's a nice 62 degrees now, but at some point it's definitely getting colder. The weather constantly points at that. And we gotta worry. You have to, you go and sit down. You're probably gonna go have a smoke or something. Crafting's in progress. At this point, I believe I would just come back tomorrow. Yeah. Things are more or less in their state there. <sighs> Come on, fighting. Please? Alright, the fighting's not gone away. There's no new locations. That is a bummer. Alright, I've got Pavel resting again. We'll see if he recovers. I'm gonna finally visit the brothel. And we're gonna see how it goes. There's warning about the thugs and danger and stuff like that, but... It's like... If it's supposed to be a brothel, like, they're running some kind of business there. And it says possible trade. So if I could buy weapons and stuff like that, that'd be fantastic for us. Maybe some food. I'll see what I can get without fighting them. <laughs> it's a new location to visit, at least. We're gonna bring in all of our roll-up. We've already got 19 of those. You have something else down here, right? Yep. Got moonshine. And should I bring the pure alcohol along? Yeah, you can trade it. I'll bring it along for trade. My understanding is I believe... Now that I have ex now that I have the ability to buy a distillery if I want to... I think this distillery just makes moonshine into pure alcohol, doesn't it? So that's just the next level up. I was holding on to it as it... As it I was thinking of it being something completely separate from, uh... I was thinking like uh, like the alcohol you use for like wipes and stuff like that, but uh, seems like it's al like it's useful for uh, alcohol too, like for drinking purposes or some compare or some variation thereon. I'm just sorry, I'm just reviewing whether or not I have anything I want to look at here. Is there anything else I want to take to trade? I don't know. We have a pistol. That's so. Let's try to let's try to see if I can get a shotgun because it's supposed to have weapon parts here. The place has lots of weapons and some food. So this is my, it's my first time in this kind of place, he says. Ooh, a scrap pile. That's inherently good. That kind of makes it worth it to visit a new place. Hopefully no one's shooting me on sight. Yes! First thing I find being a bullet's not super encouraging. <laughs> it's good for scavenging, it's just worrying when I'm visiting a new place that's supposed to be manned by guards. Oh yeah, just a bullet, no big deal. But I'm happy to be finding uh, some wood. 
I should probably visit all the places I've never been to yet just to see what kind of stuff's sitting on the floor outside for scavenging purposes. Cause I'm, I mean, one of my goals right now is wood. That's That could be anywhere. <laughs> it's trash, mostly. Among it lie a fashionable handbag, torn, as if someone had ripped it open. Not sparing any thought to a damaged zipper, a tiny framed photo of a young man, and a pocket notebook. Whoever tossed these here wasn't their owner. That's also dark. Like someone's been kidnapped or attacked in some capacity and then they just throw their stuff over here. Look at this! You need a saw blade to get in, but what's back there? There's a desk. There's a scrap and there's a grate. And there's a desk. So if I brought a saw blade in and I felt like stealing, it's probably a spot to, use to do it. Check out more debris. How big is this place anyway? Oh, that's gotta be the brothel. Look at the... It's like... Oops. You can see, like, these pink shades and stuff. Yeah, that's the, that's gotta be the business. I'm just in the weird place out front that's good for scrapping... for scavenging. Hey, I'll take it. It's good to find scrap. I might even take all the scrap now, leave, and then come back to pick up, uh, actually trade later. <laughs> My inventory is pretty full of nonsense, though, so I should probably try to trade on some level. Why is this... ...awkwardly boarded up? I guess this might be their defenses. Maybe I'm being a dick right now. Oh, well. They're, they're, they are what the game defines as armed thugs running a brothel. So I'm not exactly the most sympathetic person in this case. Yes, is this a lobby? Really hope no one shoots me today. <laughs> more, eh, more parts. Inventory is filling up fast, though. Partly because of all the nonsensical variety we pick up. That's the rough thing about having stacking inventory items in various games instead of just having everything have its own weight. Is that when they take when we do a slot-based inventory, you have to worry about like just variety being a problem, like. Oh, I really need this thing, but it's ruining my inventory because it only they only gave me one. Ah, oh. Can I jump across? Probably not. There's a lot of scrap out here. Look at that. Shell casings, components, wood. Let's head on out here. If nothing else, I can I can make a spot that just has all of it on it. And then go to, go to trade. See how things go. Tobacco, fantastic, and parts. But yeah, my now, now my now my inventory is completely full, and we got some wood too, which makes me happy. Yeah. What do I want to do with this stuff? Do I just want to leave? I could just leave and come trade later. It seems like a bad call, though. I should see what they have. We can take a look. The good news about the stuff I'm trading is that the moonshine bottles, if I'm right... Yeah, the moonshine and the pure alcohol are all one item per slot, so if I trade those things and I'm trading them for big stacks of stuff, we can get a lot of stuff out of that. Alright, he's manning the door. Like a bouncer? Oh yeah, he's got a trade icon. He's happy to see me. Hi, sir. Let's see, what do you want to trade? That's a broken shotgun. I want that. Absolutely. I already have... I already made a pistol so far. Uh, he's got food. He's got tobacco. Oh, he's got parts. That'd be fantastic. Um... Tr throw down our moonshine and our pure alcohol. It's just too damn impressive, he says. Grab some food of him. Oh, he doesn't want... That food is over the edge for him. He must value that shotgun quite a bit. Okay. What about water? Oh. Tipping point. We can trade for seven water. Wait, wait, gun parts. I'm sorry, when did I grab that? I didn't I don't know when I grabbed those. I did, I did not mean at any point to click on on a on with that item. Let's see. So those these four items, cigarettes. All those, so the alcohol and cigarettes right now is four slots, so I can trade for four slots worth of stuff. 
He's really happy with my offer so far. How about the food? No, he's cool with the food. I think I got thrown off when I accidentally asked for, uh... I accidentally asked for weapon parts without even realizing that I had added them to the stock. Although they'd be good to have, I'm sure. Um... Food's also great. Canned food's fantastic, but I'm sure that's not gonna work out. Yeah, he says, you gotta be kidding me. What if I add, like, one? Wow, even one canned food is immediately a problem. I assume raw- I already have the raw food. He's very happy with my offer. Add the rest of the water. That was easy. That's not a sticking point at all. Is there something better to trade for than water, then? Like tobacco? Just itself? His total lack of components is kind of a bummer. Ammo. Let's see. I kind of just want to grab his... What about tobacco? You gotta be kidding, he says. What if I throw in, like, my shell casings? I've got, like, some nonsense I don't really have immediate use for. The bullets are built already, but everything else... Not so much. Weapon parts? No. I don't think I can quite make this work the way I want it to. So I can actually make a decent haul off this guy. I can trade... I can trade 18 cigarettes for three parts, 10 water, and the broken shotgun, which I can then turn into an actual shotgun. The problem is the inventory. The problem is that my inventory is already full, and I don't want to dump this stuff necessarily. So I think I'm actually going to make another trip. I think I'm actually going to come back with my trade goods again in the future. Because I picked up a bunch of stuff along the way here, and it just it filled this up really bad. And maybe at some point, I don't know, trade will pick up and change a bit. Maybe, hey, maybe I'll get lucky and love more traps.